Father's Day is meant, of course, is being offered for the Catholic Daughters uh, of America and the uh, local chapter here at uh, Holy Park of Mary. Always knowing how much that has meant to the pastor, I do appreciate that blood organization goes to it for not only the parish but to the country and our world in general. Let us uh, begin our celebration by saying together the uh, Century Antiphon. Uh, we are living at sight with Griffin, I know, so uh, we'll stick with what we have the living in Christ. He fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the top. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and then bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strengthen those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since for thousands of hours we sit without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. A reading from the second book of Kings, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven a world, uh, in a whirlwind, he, he and Elisha, Elisha, uh, uh, Elisha so were in the, in, on their way to Gilead. Gilgal, 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 there you go. Uh, Elijah said to Elisha, please stay here. The Lord has sent me to uh, send me on to the Jordan. The Lord lives, and as you all yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guide of prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elisha uh, Elijah uh, took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. And when they had crossed over, Elisha said to Elijah, ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken before, uh, from you. Elisha said, answered, may I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah said, replied, since if you see me taken up from you, still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they, were, as they walked on, on conversing, flaming chariot of flaming and flaming horses came between them. Elijah, Elijah, Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha, Elisha gripped, his, uh, gripped his garments and tore it in two. When he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan, welding the mantle that had fallen from Elisha, Elijah struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And Elisha struck the water. It divided and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Let your hearts uh, take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, 
which you have in store for those who fear you and which towards those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of your children of men. Let your hearts be take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of, of tongues. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than a request, a request, requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so that others may see them. Man, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father will see what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, I will say right off the bat, you all deserve the great reward of what we are hearing in today's uh, gospel. You're, you're very patient uh, with your priests, and you know how much I, I do appreciate your patience, and, and to anticipate what we're about ready to receive from the altar here, the body and blood of Jesus Christ entering. And your priorities are right. You stuck around. So thanks be to God for that great example as what you are as Catholic daughters. And, and know again, as I said at the beginning of Mass, how much I really do appreciate what, what Catholic daughters do for the parish and your witness and your witness. If you don't mind, just a, a little aside here on today's gospel. I hope today's gospel was kind of familiar. Does it kind of ring a bell? Because it's the same exact gospel we started Ash Wednesday out with. It was exactly the same gospel. And as I reminded you uh, at, at Ash Wednesday, the word hypocrite is often misunderstood in uh, in modern society because it's a uh, kind of mistranslated. If I were saying you're a hypocrite, you would say, oh, you're, you know, you're um, acting one way and doing something different. You're, you're not living up to uh, what you're, uh, uh, so your, your preaching is not what you're living. But believe it or not, in Greek, the word hypocrite means an actor, uh, a person who puts a mask in front of his face. And if you would know anything about the Greek plays, you know, they would walk in with a mask, a smiling mask or a sad mask, and it would tell the audience uh, that a tragedy is going on or a comedy is going on. And this is what Jesus is reminding us. Make sure that you're not acting. Don't, don't be the actor. Uh, it's one thing to live one way and, and do another. We're human. But what Jesus is specifically saying is make sure that, that you're not putting on a play or putting on a show. That, that's not what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to make sure what we live is what we do and what we do is what we live. And we live it not only just uh, out in the public when we go down the church steps or outside your house, but we also live it in, in our uh, living rooms. We live it in our 
bedrooms. We live it in, in the garage. It, it's something that is who we are as Christians. And of course, when we do this, we find that, that reward that Jesus is talking about from his heavenly Father. And so with that now, not being the hypocrites, but recognizing how much we do need, honestly need God in our lives, let us stand together now and present our petitions, our supplications, our thanksgivings to God our Father. So Heavenly Father, we, we give you thanks for this opportunity to come and give you praise and worship this day. Heavenly Father, bless us that we may always uh, look to you as, as our comfort and as our source of strength. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, on this day, too, we ask you to bless the work of God, Catholic daughters, uh, then not only just here in our parish, uh, but throughout the entire country and throughout the world, those who offer themselves in service of your church, bless them and bless the families that they serve as well. We pray to the Lord. Now, Heavenly Father, we also want to pray for all the members uh, who are uh, sick or, or have died. Heavenly Father, be with these individuals as they do carry a cross in their lives. And for those who have died, that they may share the promise of eternal life with you in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you and present to you in charity those who are sick amongst us, especially uh, mentally having difficulties because of the coronavirus and all that is involved with uh, the distress that this is causing our, our state and our country and our world trusting in you, knowing that all peace comes from you. We, we call upon you to give healing to those that are distressed. We ask for your peace for those that are rioting, that they may recognize that it is not something that comes from earth or of the man-making, but rather from heaven. May we share in that peace which you wish to have for our world. We pray to the Lord. Help us, Heavenly Father, to be ones who are not hypocrites, but rather are who we say we are all the time, 24 hours a day. Help us to preach the gospel in our lives and sometimes even use words. Those who may see us, will we will be a reflection of you to a world so desperately needing your light. We pray to the Lord. Now, Heavenly Father, we present to you all those who serve our church. We in particular pray for those that uh, are in missionary countries, that they do not get discouraged for uh, diminishing returns, but rather recognizing that they do plant the seed, and from that seed, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, faith grows. May they be blessed in their service to our church, we pray to the Lord. Now we turn to you with those petitions that we hold dearest to our hearts, and from the silence of our hearts, as we hear in today's gospel, you know, knowing that, that you hear us when we call out to you in this silence. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, it is with great appreciation that we stand before you today. Heavenly Father, in faith, we now turn to you, asking you to hear these petitions, make perfect what is imperfect in them, trusting that whatever you give us will not, never keep us from you. Now, Heavenly Father, we present these petitions to you through Jesus Christ, our mediator, our Lord, our elders, brother. We know lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit is one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the wine and dawn, and the fruit of the vine and work of human hands from our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offering presented here provides for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with the sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we proclaim our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy. Your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord from whom we made all things, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the virtue, filling your willing and amiable Holy Spirit, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bond of all holiness. Pray holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the rainfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to God is worthy to be your presence and means of the Eucharist. Humbly we pray that by taking the body of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church that throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to co heirs of eternal life, to be praised and glorified in through your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us to do in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be saved. And again, if you uh, turn to your uh, living with Christ, let us say together the communion antiphon. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. And of course, uh, goes without saying, but uh, do remember, if you will, to pray for uh, the intentions of the Catholic Daughters Association, especially those who, who serve the uh, parish in particular in their needs. Go in peace.